right, I'm out again. This is my first ride after uh, putting the Continental TKC-80s on this bike. And um, I'm going to kind of pan over here so you can get a look at it. This is the front tire. Clearly a lot more aggressive than the uh, stock tire that came with this bike. And we'll pop around here to the rear. Go away, fly. And uh, here's the rear tire. Uh, it's a bit wider, I think, than the other, you know, the stock tire was. And um, definitely feels like it has more grip. I would say, so far, and this is purely objective, that on the road, it feels like it's really grippy. And on the, the dirt and gravel, again, pretty grippy. Um, at first, I thought that it wasn't maybe making as much difference as I expected it to. Um, but what I'm finding, if I, once I start watching the speedometer, is that when I'm riding at the upper end of what I would consider my comfort zone with the factory tires, um, on the highway, probably a slightly different story, but on dirt, gravel, um, I'm running about five miles an hour faster um, without really thinking about it than I was with the other tires. So, and I'm picking up a little bit of stability I think in my basically what you know my comfort zone where I feel like I'm riding at you know the upper end of where I'm feeling like I can still kind of enjoy the ride and not focusing a thousand percent on the bike I'm able to see some of the scenery around me and stuff um, I will say that these feel like when you corner um, the bike almost tips into the corner, falls into the corner quicker than it did with the factory ones. I assume that's, you know, when you look at the tread on it, um, this is clearly a lot different. I, it's the, the profile is different. I didn't feel unsafe. It's just a matter of getting used to the bike now. It feels very different. Um, the other thing I've noticed is on gravel in the past, when I would start to feel the bike come out from under me, it was the rear tire that would slip around. Um, so I'd feel like the rear was going to slide around out from under me. Um, at this point, I have yet to feel, and granted I haven't really pushed it, but I've yet to feel the rear tire um, just kind of riding out and enjoying myself. I haven't felt the rear tire slide out from under me. The front tire requires a bit more of attention because it's a bit more grippy. So when you get in thicker gravel, it's likely to pull you around a little bit more. Um, I think that's probably not a horrible thing. It's a matter of me getting used to having that extra um, traction in the rear and maybe getting on the throttle a little bit more to keep that back end coming around. That's, uh, that's my guess. I'll be doing some research to see if that's correct. But anyway, so there we are. Um, I'm headed up towards Canuck Basin. Uh, I chose this ride because there's a decent amount, about 10 miles on the highway to get here, and I wanted to see how these would feel on the highway. And then um, this is broken gravel and pavement um, about halfway up, and then it's gravel. And then I'm going to drop down into the other side, into the basin itself, which is all gravel. Um, I guess one other thing to mention before I stop here is that um, when I first put the tires on, it was, it was very obvious to me that, <laughs> that they were different. Just pushing the bike, you can kind of feel it go flump, flump, flump. You know, it's like a, almost like a tracked vehicle in that it... You know, you can feel those knobs just rotating around. Once you get to about 10 miles an hour or something, that's not really noticeable. Vibration, meh, I guess there's a little bit more than the other tires, but not that I really notice it. And certainly if I had had these on from the beginning, it would not have been objectionable at all. And not, it's not really objectionable now. And then um, lastly, what was my other point? Do you remember? Because I don't. Um, there was something else I was going to say. I guess when I think of it, I'll come back to it.